If you are going to outwit the devil, it's terribly important that you don't give him any advance notice. Alan Watts Alan Watts, a self-styled English writer, is renowned for interpreting and popularizing Buddhist, Taoist, and Hindu philosophy for a Western audience. He often used metaphorical language and analogies to convey his philosophical ideas. The devil represents negative or destructive forces in our lives. By not giving the devil a heads up or advance notice, we avoid giving power or attention to this negative influence. The devil thrives on predictability and routine. By introducing surprise into our lives, we can break free from the patterns that the devil tries to trap us in. This element of surprise disrupts the devil's attempts to control our spiritual practice. The devil often preys on our fear of the unknown. However, by embracing spontaneity, we can confront and conquer this fear. For example, instead of sticking to familiar spiritual practice, we can spontaneously explore new techniques or philosophies. This willingness to step into the unknown brings about a sense of adventure and opens doors to new insights and experiences. In his book Zen and the Art of Archery, German philosopher and author Eugen Harigal emphasizes the importance of direct experience and non-dualistic thinking has had a significant impact in introducing Zen to Western audiences and is considered a classic work on Eastern philosophy. One of the key concepts he discusses is the necessity of letting go of the bowstring without first deciding to do so. According to Harigal, the decision to release the bowstring and the action of doing so must be simultaneous. In Zen and the Art of Archery, which was published in 1948, Harigal shares his personal experiences of Japanese Zen tradition in Japan and insights gained through the practice of archery. The book emphasizes that the practice of archery is not merely about technical perfection or hitting the center of the target. Instead, it is a journey within oneself, a search for self-knowledge and detachment. It is necessary for the archer to become, in spite of himself, an unmoved center. Then comes the supreme and ultimate miracle. Art becomes artless. Shooting becomes not shooting at all, but simply hitting the target. The archer ceases to be conscious of himself as the one who is engaged in hitting the bull's eye which confronts him. This state of unconsciousness is realized only when, completely empty and rid of the self, he becomes one with the perfecting of his technical skill. Though there is in it something of a quite different order which cannot be attained by any progressive study of the art. He describes how the practice of archery can be a means to achieve a state of Zen which involves a deep sense of focus, presence, and detachment from external distractions. His observations of the Zen approach to archery highlight the significance of discipline, patience, and the pursuit of perfection. Harigal suggests that in order to achieve a state of higher consciousness, one must let go of preconceived notions, attachments, and the ego. Instead of consciously deciding to let go, it is important to allow the release to happen naturally and spontaneously. By letting go without deliberation, one can tap into a deeper level of awareness and connect with the present moment. This state of non-attachment allows for a more intuitive and effortless way of being. It is through this process of surrendering and releasing that one can experience a sense of oneness with the universe and attain spiritual enlightenment. To truly embrace the path of awakening, we must be willing to release these attachments without hesitation or deliberation. We must trust in the divine flow of life and surrender to the greater wisdom that exists beyond our limited understanding. Just as the archer trusts in the trajectory of the arrow without holding on to it, we must trust in the unfolding of our spiritual journey without clinging to our egoic desires. By releasing the bowstring without premeditation, we open ourselves to the infinite possibilities and guidance that await us. We allow ourselves to be guided by intuition, synchronicity, and the wisdom of our higher selves. In this state of surrender, we become vessels for divine inspiration and grace, experiencing profound moments of clarity, insight, and transcendence. Surprise and spontaneity arise from following our intuition. The devil often tries to cloud our intuition and lead us astray. However, by trusting our inner guidance and acting spontaneously on it, we can outwit the devil's manipulations. Intuition acts as our inner compass, guiding us towards truth and authenticity. It allows us to discern between the devil's manipulations and genuine spiritual insights. By cultivating and trusting our intuition, we can outwit the devil's attempts to lead us astray. 
Surprise disrupts the devil's plans and expectations, catching it off guard. Spontaneity empowers us to break free from the devil's predictable patterns and routines. By embracing spontaneous actions, we create space for new experiences and insights to emerge. For instance, if the devil tempts us to engage in negative behavior, we can counteract it by spontaneously choosing a positive and virtuous action. This unexpected response disrupts the devil's influence and strengthens our spiritual resolve. Synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that align with our spiritual path, often arise when we follow our intuition and embrace surprise and spontaneity. These synchronicities can serve as signs and affirmations, guiding us on our journey and offering protection against the devil's illusions. Intuition, surprise, and spontaneity facilitate self-discovery, which is crucial in outwitting the devil. By listening to our intuition, embracing surprise, and acting spontaneously, we uncover hidden aspects of ourselves and deepen our connection with the divine. This self-discovery enables us to discern the devil's manipulations from our authentic spiritual path, empowering us to make choices aligned with our higher purpose. Throughout the ages, the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment and awakening has been a central focus for individuals seeking deeper meaning and understanding in their lives. In this quest, the role of intuition, surprise, and spontaneity has been explored as powerful tools to outwit the devil and overcome spiritual impediments. From ancient times to the present, various philosophies have emerged, each shedding light on the significance of these elements in the journey towards spiritual growth. Ancient Chinese philosophy, particularly Taoism, emphasizes the value of spontaneity and naturalness in spiritual enlightenment. The concept of Wu Wei, often translated as effortless action, suggests that one can achieve harmony with the Tao, or the Wei, by acting spontaneously and without force. This approach involves trusting one's intuition and allowing things to unfold naturally. Taoism encourages individuals to trust their intuitive awareness, which serves as a guide in harmonizing with the natural flow of life. Surprise is viewed as a wake-up call, a reminder to stay present and receptive to the ever-changing conditions. By embracing these qualities, one can transcend the devil's illusions and attain spiritual clarity. So, if you want to overcome or outsmart a difficult or challenging situation, it is important not to give any advance warning or indication of your intentions. By keeping your plans or strategies hidden, you increase your chances of success because the other party, in this case, the devil, will not have the opportunity to prepare or counteract your actions. Even in the world of business and negotiations, keeping your adversaries in the dark can be a valuable strategy. By not revealing your true intentions or the extent of your resources, you can maintain a position of strength and potentially secure better deals or agreements. In business or legal matters, it is often crucial to keep sensitive information confidential. By not giving prior notice, you can prevent leaks or unauthorized access to important data. For example, a company planning a new product launch may keep the details secret until the official announcement to prevent rival firms from copying their idea. The strategy of keeping the enemy in the dark has long been employed in military tactics. By concealing troop movements, plans, or capabilities, military forces can surprise their opponents and gain a strategic advantage. This can involve tactics such as camouflage and disguise, misinformation, or surprise attacks. In all these examples, the underlying principle is that by not giving prior notice, you can maintain an element of surprise, protect yourself from manipulation, maintain confidentiality, and avoid self-sabotage. Once again, intuition is a very decisive weaponry in this process. It is a deep knowing that arises from a place beyond the ego. Transpersonal experiences are those that transcend the individual ego and connect us to something greater. These experiences can include moments of awe, transcendence, or feelings of unity with the universe. Engaging in heart-centered practices, as the heart is often considered the seat of love and compassion, or I would say thinking through our heart, and exploring the experience of perceiving reality beyond the dualistic framework of the ego. It is a state of unity where the boundaries between self and other, subject and object, dissolve, 